Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and I'm late as usual for this week's color throwdown challenge. I loved this color combo, and when you see the inspiration photo on my blog, you'll know exactly why I made the card I made. So I'm starting off with Simon Says Stamp Color Me Trees stamp set, and I just super sped this up because it's the same old, same old. I just stamped this particular tree image onto a scrap of Bristol Smooth cardstock with Simon Says Clear Ink, and then I embossed it with some detail white embossing powder. And then I've got four different clean color real brush markers here. I'll have them listed with the supplies, but I'm just using pink, orange, light blue, and cornflower blue. Super, super simple. All I'm doing is just applying a little bit of color and then just pulling it out with my water brush. And in certain areas, I didn't even bother using my water brush. I just applied the color directly to the paper and left it as is because there's such fine little tiny areas that it just didn't need to be um, pulled out or anything like that. So I went completely kind of random with where I decided to apply the colors. I just kind of paid attention to when I started applying on certain circles of this image, I would kind of count and make sure that the same band of color went all the way around so it didn't look completely crazy, but I think in the end it probably wouldn't even really matter because um, it's so bright and colorful and like anyone's going to sit and be like, oh, you were supposed to color it three three in or whatever from the center or from the outside or whatever you know what I mean so I just applied all the colors so the four colors for the challenge and then once I was done with that I am going to run this through my die cut machine with the coordinating die set which you can see I still haven't even cut apart yet um, but that worked perfectly because this particular die didn't have any dies nested in it so I just ran it through my machine to quickly die cut it and then while I've got my big shot out I am going to run some blue cardstock through with the Merry Christmas script dies and I trimmed down the cardstock purposely to fit this die three times and I just um, kept it all in the cardstock just to make my life simpler and just move the die down and then ran that through my machine and then I'm going to run um, one more die through with some white cardstock using the large tags die. So got that into place and then ran that through my machine. So I've got almost all my die cutting. I ended up doing one little bit more later on. But get all my die cutting done at once so I can get my machine out of the way. And then for this card, I kind of had a rough idea in my head. The layout I wanted to do and all that kind of stuff. So that usually makes things go along a little bit smoother. So I am using um, my multimedia matte adhesive to adhere all of these word die cuts together. And I've shown this in previous videos. I'm leaving um, one of them in the scrap paper here. It just holds it into place, especially with a word like this where the words are somewhat combined, parts of it aren't connected, and it can be a little fiddly to try and get everything stacked together. So keeping my like base inside the scrap of cardstock just keeps everything in place and just makes it faster to adhere. I still move fairly quickly because I want to get these adhered and then pulled out of the scrap because if any of this adhesive has oozed out of the sides, I don't want to end up gluing it basically back into the cardstock and then wasting all that time and effort. So I try to move fairly quickly, get my adhesive applied. I don't apply it completely to every area of the sentiment. I basically just apply the adhesive to like the thickest areas of the sentiment and then on like the very ends and then um, press on the next layer and then go from there. So I usually don't often do more than three layers. So I did my three layers, pop that out of the scrap cardstock and then I'm kind of just mentally preparing how I want to make this card. So I ended up pulling out the um, circle doodle background, which happens to coordinate quite nicely with the tree image, obviously. So I pulled that out and I just inked up with that same clear ink and then I'm just stamping it onto a lighter blue kind of aqua colored cardstock. So I've got a watermark look on that. So it's got the pattern, but it's not totally, you know, overwhelming or too, um, too busy for the rest of this card. So I did that and that's where I ran that through with one of the dies from the basic rectangles set from Simon Says Stamp. And then I just pulled out some fuchsia dotted ribbon from my stash and I thread one piece through the tag and then I took a longer piece and wrapped that around the first piece and I'm going to tie this in a bow. My original plan was just to have the bow in place and then have the two kind of pieces on the top sticking out. I thought that would look cute. But then as I was doing this, I was like, I don't, it just looked weird. <laughs> it's like, what am I going to do now? I'm like, I don't like this at all. So I instead, I just end up folding over 
the piece along the top that the bow is tied to. I just fold that onto the back of the tag, tape that into place, and no one's the wiser. And then my bow is just nicely um, tied at the top of the tag. So I popped some foam tape onto this and then um, plop that onto the piece of aqua cardstock that I'd stamped the background on. And then the tree, I just applied some ATG adhesive and adhered that onto the tag. And then for this sentiment, since the tag is popped up with foam tape, the sentiment is too big to fit across the tag, so I want to pop that up as well. So I'm just using little pieces of cool tack clear foam that I trimmed down just on the ends that are going to hang over the tag. So I'd figured out the first three letters of the Christmas and the letter M from the Mary are the parts that are kind of basically hang over. So I put the clear foam on those and then the rest of the sentiment I just applied more multimedia matte adhesive. So I'm going to get that into place and then I can adhere this over top of the tag here. So I've got everything adhered, pressed down really well, and the little dot on the eye, I'm going to adhere that. Just pick that up with my little crystal katana there and adhere that into place. So once I'm done with all of that, I was going to pop this up with some foam tape as well, but decided that would end up creating like a ton of extra bulk and dimension. So I just adhered this flat to my card base, which is heavyweight white cardstock cut to four and a quarter by 11, and then I scored it at five and a half. So it's a top folding A2 size card. And as a final bit of embellishment and to pull in that orange a little bit more for this color challenge, I just grabbed some Doodlebug Tangerine Sprinkles and adhered a few of those into place. And then for the inside of my card, I am using the Simon Says Stamp Happy Christmas stamp set. And I took the large sentiment and I'm inking it up with Simon Says Doll Pink dye ink and stamping that into place. And then in this set, there's these little kind of diamond or sparkle type stamps that are really, really small. I just applied all three of them to a block and I'm just using my clean color real brush markers, the same ones I used before, to quickly color on these and stamp with them. These markers aren't meant for stamping, they're not the greatest for stamping, but I just thought it would just add that little extra something to pull all those colors in and finish off the card. So that's my card for today. Like I said earlier, I will have a link below the video to my blog post where I'll have the inspiration image and a link to the color challenge, supplies, all that stuff is in the description box below the video. So check that out if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs up in my videos, and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.